I'm going to continue to uh, multiply integers uh, using a number line model. Uh, here I'm going to multiply uh, negative 5 times a positive 2. So a negative 5 times a positive 2. So uh, breaking this down again, this negative here tells me now that I have to face the negative end of the number line. So I'll position my man at zero, and I'll make sure that he's facing negative. So this guy here will face the negative end of the number line this way. So he's going to face this way. The five again tells me to take five steps. This positive tells me that I'm going to walk forward. My step size is 2. Okay, so I'm ready to go here. Um, I just need to grab my little man here and walk him forward. Step size 2, and I'm going to take 5 steps. So there we go. 1 step, 2 steps, 3 steps, 4 steps, 5 steps to end up at negative 10. So I know that uh, negative 5 times, oops, make my bracket there, negative 5 times a positive 2 equals a negative 10. And again, it's nice just to draw in the steps that you took. So 1, 2, 3, 4, because on your paper, it's going to be hard to uh, show that you moved the man the way you did. So making these little steps here on your number line will show that you took five steps that end up at negative 10. Uh, my last example here that I'm going to do with the number line is I'm going to multiply two negatives. So I'm going to multiply negative 5 times a negative 2. So again... I have a negative 5, so that tells me to face the negative end of the number line, and I'm going to take 5 steps. The negative here on the negative uh, on the 2, that tells me to, again, uh, walk backward. So, uh, by facing the negative end of the number line and walking backwards, you can see that I'm going to end up going in a positive direction. So I'll take five steps backward of step of si step size two. So I go one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps to end up at positive ten. So a negative five times a negative two will equal a positive 10. So uh, I hope that model helps uh, in start building your understanding of how integers multiply together. Uh, you can see that sometimes I'll get positive numbers. For example, when I multiplied a negative times a negative, I got a, a positive 10 here. Negative 5 times negative 2 is a positive 10. And sometimes you saw that I got uh, negative answers. A negative 5 times a positive 2 gave me a negative 10. So over time, you'll st start to see how the rules for multiplying integers work. Thanks for listening.